The financial crisis in Greece continues to drive families into poverty. One person in three is unemployed. Among those who've been hit hard by the crisis are Katerina and Alexandro from Athens. Every day is a struggle to buy clothes for the kids, pay tuition and have a warm meal. Will they continue to be able to provide for their children? When my kids aren't here, at least I've got the pigeons. There's a pair of them. I call them Marcos and Star. He loves her very much. And I love them both, even though they always get the windows dirty. I don't feel lonely. I have my family. And love brings us together. But I'm sad about the things that have happened in Greece in recent years. I hope that the election will make our lives a little better. Today is special because they're going to have Juvetsi for lunch. That's a traditional meat dish. It's my husband's birthday today, so I wanted to make something special. This is a special treat. They used to have it all the time. Hi, you're making a cake. Should I help? Katerina and Alexandro used to be a typical middle-class couple. Then their lives started to fall apart. We used to go out to celebrate my birthday. We'd invite a couple of our friends and have a good time. We'd hire a babysitter to take care of the kids. But we don't do any of that anymore. A few years ago, Katerina became seriously ill. She soon noticed that the Greek healthcare system was in bad shape. It made me very angry. Every time I wanted to schedule an operation, they'd say, in a month, a couple of weeks, or two weeks. But those two weeks were like two years for me. It would have been too late. The couple paid for the operation themselves, several tens of thousands of euros. Katerina recovered, but then they had trouble paying the mortgage. They'd bought a larger house, so their children would have more room. At the time, they could afford it. I had always wanted a big family. And I knew that I could take care of a large family. I never thought that one day I'd run out of money. It was the biggest shock of my life. Today, one Greek in three can't afford to pay the rent or make a mortgage payment. The unemployment rate is now just under 30 percent. Alexandro used to run his own cafe, but after the crisis, he had fewer customers. First, the government cut salaries and retirement benefits. When Papandreou took over, people panicked. The money just disappeared all at once. Then we had to implement the budget cuts ordered by the Troika. Before the crisis really started to spread, everyone started saving. No one came to my place for a coffee. They just ordered tap water. Alexandro's cafe went bankrupt. He was unemployed. Katerina did odd jobs as a cleaner or caregiver. It wasn't regular work, and it didn't pay much. Today, they're enjoying a visit to a local park. 
they can't afford vacations or even to go to the movies. Movie tickets are just too expensive. So we come to the park a lot and try to enjoy ourselves. But I'm often sad that I don't have the money to give my children the things that they need. Unemployment benefits in Greece are cut off after one year. Katerina and Alexandro often visit the family center that's run by the SOS Children's Villages, an international development organization. The staff are helping 200 families, and more are coming all the time. Social worker Georgios Alevisopoulos says many of his clients are people who used to be part of the middle class. We've seen that the crisis can ruin a family's financial situation. They start running up debts. Typically, the father had a job and supported the family on his income. The mother stayed home with the children. It was a pretty good life before the crisis. Georgios also provides Katerina and Alexandro with psychological counseling because they're now having trouble with their marriage. I didn't think we were going to make it. I'd look at my husband and I asked myself every day, what's going to happen now? He's having a rough time of it. I was afraid he was suffering from depression. Many people have committed suicide because of the financial crisis. They couldn't see any way out of it. People young and old have jumped off buildings. But thank God I came to the counseling center. They've really supported us. They saved us. While the parents are at the counseling session, the kids are getting help with their math and history homework. And who is the prettiest? Aphrodite, of course. Giorgio says many children have developed learning disabilities because of the crisis. They become withdrawn or aggressive. They can sense something's wrong. The politicians keep arguing with each other, and they blame each other for the situation that we're in. It's like they're arguing over a bad call during a football match. So what should politicians do? Show some love. A new shipment of aid supplies has just arrived. It was collected by volunteers in Austria. How are you? I'm fine. Do you have a good trip? I had a good trip. Very nice to see you again. There's noodles, medicine, and children's clothing. Erwin Schrumpf brings supplies once a month. The aid goes directly to the people who need it. The center's director welcomes these donations. We need per month um, uh, a lot of food. So it's very important, all the help that we have. And uh, from uh, Erwin, from the organization Griechenland Hilfe, uh, we have uh, big support the last three years. Mm -hmm. But the volunteers say that there may be fewer donations from Austria in the months to come because that country is dealing with a refugee crisis. We've seen that a lot of people are donating to refugee aid. So now the people here in Greece will be left on their own. Katerina has picked out some clothes for her sons and some food. She says it's not easy for her to come here, but she has no choice. I don't feel good about it. Of course, I'm happy that they have supplies for us. My kids need new clothes now and then. They're always getting their clothes dirty and then you've got to wash them. But we'll just have to get by until we've got some money again.
Να ζήσεις μπαβούλη και χρόνια πολλά, μεγάλος να γίνεις με άσπρα μαλλιά. But today they're going to celebrate, despite their hardships. It's Alexandro's 45th birthday. <laughs> Katarina never thought her life would turn out like this, but her family is sticking together and that gives her the strength to keep going. <laughs> They say that one day Greece's financial crisis will come to an end. At least they hope so. And one day their children will complete their education, find a job, and start living on their own. I'm not afraid of growing old. I'm still strong. And I hope that one day things will change for the better in Greece. We've got some new politicians. I hope this economic crisis will be over soon. In 10 years the situation will be better. And by then my children will all be adults. Katerina and Alexandro do have something that the crisis can't take away, and that's their family.